Hello. Uh, do you want you? Esteemed guests, I, the apprentice storyteller. Oh, right. Stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot to stop things. Perhaps you have heard a tale that goes something like this. In the beautiful night of lantern right, flaming lights once dance across the sky, like flowing, glowing brushes, like a majestic scroll. Uh, Paimon didn't quite catch that. Flaming lights? Painting in the sky? That's not something ordinary people can do. Even if you had some kind of airship, it's no kind of mysterious thing that can just hang in the air like that. Like you seriously exaggerated the analogy. Could you be talking about fireworks? Anyway, the protagonists of this tale are none other than you two. The renowned Lemur, whose fame has spread throughout the land, and his companion Paimon. Huh? Why is it suddenly about us? Perhaps you have already forgotten, but this time last year, you accepted a commission from the adventurer Tianqian and participated um, in a special speedrun challenge. That speedrun challenge was illuminated by the low fireworks, a sight most majestic, a splendorous scene not oft seen. Now that you mention it, Paimon remembers that we held some promoter from the adventurer's deal. It was nothing, really. She said she wanted to use the event to recruit new members. No idea if it actually worked, though. I guess something like that might happen. At the time, I was drowning my sorrows in liquor near the Wonshu Inn, and as I looked up, I saw your silhouettes framed by the fireworks. In a moment, the sadness from flunking the exam, my confusion about the path that lay before me, was all dispelled in a flash by your radiant figures, blazing bright with vitality. So I pulled myself together and continued my research into folk tales and thus came to Shen Yu Vel, drinking deep of my favorite subject. I must thank you for the encouragement you gave me. And it, it, it is not just me. Many were moved by your splendid silhouettes, joining the Adventurers Guild and finding a new direction in life. But Baimon never imagined anything like that. We didn't even notice anyone watching at the time, and didn't even think just joining in a little race to inspire other people. When you put it like that, it's kind of embarrassing. It's good to see that your spirits have improved. To run into to run into you today is truly my good fortune. There's one thing I would like to ask, in addition to expressing my sincerest gratitude. Please. Pass your radiant glory onward, and continue to inspire even more people. Though we aren't nearly as great as you say, we've got a good idea going. If we can cheer up more people, we're in. Though now that you mention it, just what should we do? In accordance with the usual practices, I used Tiantian's racing challenge as a reference, and teamed up with other adventurers inspired by you. We've planned a brand new activity. Iridescent clouds driving. There are many wondrous things here in Chingy Vale, including a strange carp whose power allows you to travel most swiftly. Yeah, uh yeah. Yeah, we know about her. Fujin. <clears throat> All you need to do is vault over valleys and mount the mountain tops with your nimbleness. Showing your vibrant dynamism. Dynamism to all lands sun dry. Just as before. We're in. Of course, beyond the more I have prepared as a token of appreciation, we've prepared a variety of rewards uh, to express our gratitude. Such paltry gestures pale with the hope you have drifted to so many and the excitement your past deeds inspire. But that is not all. In the future, we will find more chances to repay you. <laughs> You're too kind. We'll keep, our, we'll keep on journeying and helping out those in need along the way, even without any rewards. 
after hearing you, we are even more inspired to keep on adventuring. Let's give this iridescent cloud shrine a try. Well, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Expeditious excursion. I have to go to score 3,000 points. Good. First event. Uh, during iridescent cloud striving challenges, you must reach your destination while collecting as many jade lotus lanterns on the way to obtain a store as high as possible. Ominous lanterns will be present present will be present <laughs> during the challenge. You will have points deducted if you pick them up. After you come into contact with fireworks lanterns, they will explode and you will trigger the pickup effects of all objects within the explosion radius. So are they a good thing or bad thing? Uh, there will be a cunning plans to be picked up near the golden top sleep pearls. These can help you complete the common challenges. After picking a common plan, trashed bots up, Jade Lotus Lanterns will appear before you for a limited time. Uh, this will help you obtain a higher score. Alright, thanks uh, for um, the tutorial part of it. Well, Zhongli, I think you seem the most appropriate for that type of uh, tour. Expeditious excursion. When you unfurl your wind ladder and soar through the skies, you are as a brush against the canvas of night sky. Draw clear lines as you glide at full speed towards your target. So, Jay's Lotus Lantern picks up the score points. Firewood's Lantern explodes on contact and gathers all items within the explosion radius. Okay. Ominous Lantern will deduct points when picked up. Treats limited time Jay Lotus Lanterns in front of you. Let's start. for a while, waiting for the perfect moment for the challenge. Yeah, but I, I want to try this again. I, I'm sure I can, I can do better. I didn't know how it was supposed to work before, but uh, now I can. I definitely know how to work this out. Just have to be cautious. So 
far so good. Let's wait a bit. And oh. Is this the high score or not? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know if this, is, this was the high score, but I, uh, I did it. To reach 3000, so I almost reached 5000, so yeah. I don't know what's the highest score, but I did nonetheless, so I'm happy about that. Second, where is it? Oh, Osmanthus wine tastes the same. Uh, after pitching a training plan, Chris crisis at Adaptation up. Ominous lanterns before you will gradually turn into tranquil lanterns. It is a opportunity to score more points. Alright. So of this pick up two straw points. Alright. Let's go. So I have to go this way, right? Ridiculous. <laughs> oh. So how about this? Can I do better? A better school than this? I don't know. Let me, let me try to try it again. I want to see if I can do better. I did uh, full, full twenty-four. All right, let's do this again. Let's see. Ah, oh, shit! Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I know. Try it again. Missed one. Okay, I have to be precise. That's a better score now. <laughs> okay. Um Right. Okay. Next. 
next. Where is this? Osmanthus wine while. tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? It's not somewhere I can go right now, right? But, 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 now. I, uh, wanted those. Banquet screen dancing and banquet screen crying. Uh,. Dancing butterflies and leaping fish. Crying swallows and chirping sparrows. Alright. As for the character that I want to bring to the table, obviously, you might have guessed it. It's none other. And our boy. Zin show, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm just I'm just kidding already. I've seen six. Um of course it's going to be Gavin. This boy has uh, has impressed me the, mo the, the most thus far. Uh, and yeah, I can't wait to see what it brings to the table. But yeah, going for Gavin, obviously. So, are you sure we want to invite Gavin? Do you want to send an invitation once to its suspense? Yep, yeah, Gavin. Hey, boss. The name's Gaming. I'm a guard from the communications office. So, all this needs shipping, right? Uh, no, no. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. It'll only take me a minute. And I we think can get the delivery schedule. <laughs> oh, and if you ever want to book a wushu dance, me and my crew are available in a heartbeat. The troop's called the Mighty Mythical Beast. And I'm the head. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. Okay, so it seems that, that the characters are now monologuing for uh, quite a while when we pick them up or we get them in the wish section. Okay, so Gami, there we go. I'm not too far from the highest fever possible, to be, to be sure. Uh, yeah. Interesting. So, um, first off, I'll get these specific items for the Serenity Pot and this one as well. Alright. Now, as for the one in question, it's none other. Then the boy himself, Gaming. <laughs> we <laughs> we have him in the boss now. So happy about that. Which look at his design though. In his Wushu dance anima uh, animation, the glow that this boy has, Monzai. Aww. <laughs> well, let's see, let's see about his attire. The ranging rainbow. Gamin's outfit. There's no need for a fancy getup when going out. A few plain layers and portable shoes and voila. You're on solid footing. As for the wind glider that I'm going to choose, obviously. Early way, winds of golden flight. What are his translation though? Uh, no, 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 before I go into his translation, it is chicken's talents. Uh, normal attack, stellar rend. So yeah. Bestial Ascent, yes. Bounces forward using the Wushu Arts, leaping high into the air after trying to contact with a target or surface. Uh, after Jamin has used, used Bestial Ascent to rise into the air, he, if he immediately uses a plunged attack, he will use this, the especially powerful plunged attack, Charmed Cloud Strider, instead. 
Mm. Plunging attack. Charmed at Cloud Strider. Damage from plunging attacks caused by Bistol Sand is converted to power damage and cannot be overridden by other elemental fusions. Upon landing, Jamin will consume a fixed amount of HP. Jamin's HP cannot be reduced below 10% by this method. Charm Cloud Strider damage is considered plunging attack damage. Auspicious beasts leap high to pluck the greens and symbolizes good fortune and knowing how to make some serious green, you know? So may we all rise to new heights one step at a time. Wow. Uh, Swanee's Gilded Dance. Um, so, Garmin enters Wu Shu's dance, briefly applying Pyro to him, recovering a fixed amount of HP, and summons his companion, the Swanee Monsai, to smash it into his target, dealing AoE Pyro damage. After bashing its target, the Manzai will roll to a nearby location uh, before moving towards Garmin. When it links up with Garmin, Manzai will leave the field and reset the cooldown for Garmin's elemental skill. Best still, best still said. Wow. While Wushu's stance is, act is active, his resistance to interru interruptions is increased, and when Garmin lands with Charm, Cloud Strider attack will complete the forward. A uh, pounce attack from Bistil sent with over 50% HP, he will summon Monza again. Each Jamin will can only each Jamin can only have one Monza on the field simultaneously. This effect will be cancelled once Jamin leaves the field. The gilded Swanee spits out fortune like a fireworks show. Hey, now that's what's called prosperity when business is really booming. The striking beast. Increases the mov movement speed of your own party members by 10% during the day. During the day. Does not take effect in the main strands of the spiral abyss, spiral abyss, yeah. So during the day, mm, movement speed is boosted by 10% of the whole party. Alright, um. Dance of Amity. After. Bestial Ascent's plunging attack, Charmed Cloud Strider hits an opponent, Gamin will regain 1.5% of his max HP at once every 0.2 seconds for 0.8 seconds. Okay, so... 4 times? Okay, as for the Air of Prosperity, <clears throat> when Jamming has less than 50% HP, he will receive a 20% incoming healing bonus. When Jamming has 50% or HP or more, Plunging Attack Charm Clouds will deal 20% more damage. Alright, as for the Constellation, Bringer of Blessing. When the Swanee Monzai from Swanee's Gilded Dance meets back up with Gamin, it will heal 15% of Gamin's HP. So there's a whole way to recover HP if you unlock certain passives, certain constellations and whatnot. But yeah. Uh, Plum Blossoms Underfoot. When Gamin receives healing and in this instance of healing overflows, his attack will be increased by 20% for 5 seconds. Okay, so this is the Awakening Spirit. Soar across mountains. When Bestial Ascent Splunging Attack Chunk Cloud Strider hits an opponent, it will restore 2 energy to Garmin. This effect can be triggered once every 0.2 seconds. Evil Daunting Roar and to tame all beasts. <coughs> Bestial Ascent's plunging attack, Charm Cloud Strider crit rate increased by 20%, and crit damage increased by 40%, and its attack radius will be increased. So, so his uh, C6 is quite good. Um, Alright, so Profile Caleb Yen. Shout out to you, my guy. Shout out to Caleb. Um, 
So his birthday is on the 22nd of December. Okay. Uh, affiliation Sword and Strongbot Secure Transport Agency. Vision Pyro, translation Leo Esper Jitsens. Jits. Esper Jitsens. Um, rather the whole of the Sword and Strongbot Secure Transport Agency, the head of the mighty Mythical Beasts Wushu Troop. Sorry. Uh, goods flow through Yilong Wharf around Clutch, and the merchant convoys and their cargo have needs of gods to escort them through the various regions of Liwei to the other to other lands. Since ancient times, such escort work has been no easy task. Even in an area era of relative safety on the roads such as this, any one escort run could involve a number of variables. Perhaps this employer might change the route on an ad hoc basis, or perhaps that customer will nitpick and refuse to accept the goods. Never mind how the roads do not lack for all manner of petty crooks, so if one is unfortunate, or if one is fortunate, and be time bends if one is not. Although the Solar Stormbot Secure Transport Agency is no shortage of capable, capable skilled staff, uh, where you to, where you to come through all their roster. The only one among their reigns who can keep clients happy while beating any brigands down is Garmin. The merchant guilds, for their part, are quite eager to have this young, competent guard restore their cargo, and Garmin is no less popular on the streets outside the world than he is in his professional capacity. Indeed, any and all friends of this busy fellow will rate him two thumbs up as a piece of cake. Come see our wushu dance when you're free. Don't worry, just enjoy the show, and we'll call it even. Hence in advance, <laughs> whenever someone on the receiving end of his help wants to return the favor, this will be his jocular reply. Come see our wushu dance. Well, lad. As for his voiceover. Hey, boss. The name's Gaming. I'm a guard from the communications office. So, all this needs shipping, right? Uh, no, no. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. It'll only take me a minute, then we can get the delivery scheduled. Oh, and if you ever want to book a wushu dance, me and my crew are available in a heartbeat. The troop's called the Mighty Mythical Beasts, and I'm the head. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. Mm -hmm. Boom, booms, and eyes, and boom, booms, and mouth. And hmm, I need to tighten up that part. <laughs> Whether it takes me uphill, downhill, or out to the sticks, I get the goods from A to B. I'll even take him across the sea if needed. So don't worry, you're in safe hands. They don't call me the gold standard guard for nothing. Oh, <laughs> well, dim sum? A pot of tea with a couple of nibbles, some seasonal greens, and a piping hot bowl of fresh kanji. Ah, oh, that's a dope breakfast right there. The perfect way to start your day. <laughs> when it rains. Uh, rain? Oh, man. I hope I brought the laundry in. <laughs> yeah, I saw a tweet a tweet um, uh, earlier uh, in the day when uh, someone <laughs> quoted that line and said that's every Korean <laughs> in, in, their, in their household when it starts uh, raining when thunder strikes oh, hey you hear that someone just got wrecked if you're gonna swear on high heaven don't make an oath you can't keep albeit right on children is probably there uh, 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 why can't I catch any of my mouth? So you want to catch no in your mouth? Okay, when the sun is out. Great, sun's out! Uh, about time we had some dry heat. It's been so muggy lately. Mm -hmm. the Dang, that water costs an arm and a leg around here. Good thing I brought my own. Good morning. Whew, just finished my kung fu practice. Now I'm about to go for dim sum. You want to join? Sure. Uh, good afternoon. You know my favorite thing to have for lunch? Breakfast. <laughs> Join me for dim sum? Uh, good evening. Ah, I managed to book this cool place for dinner. They only do evening service and it's invite only. Since you're here with me, want to come with? Use it or snooze it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hitting the hay? <laughs> no? You hungry? Want to grab a bite? <laughs> okay, so eating is, uh, yeah, a good thing for him. Uh, about Jamie, hometown. Ever been to Chaying Village? 
Chow Yun Village. Yeah. It's a big tea growing region. Song Luo and Single Origin Yao An both come from there. You know what? No time like the present. I got a box of totally dope single origin here. Let's get to a tea house and brew us a pot right now. I'll get some nibbles too. My cheek. Song Luo and Single Origin Yao An. <laughs> ah, Chow Yun Village. All right. About us, show support. When I'm not on a delivery run, I do wushu dancing on the streets of Liyue Harbor. It, do you think you could come along and watch sometime to support me? It, no, no, it's completely free. As long as people are entertained, I'm a happy guy. <laughs> something to share? Manzai's such a little rascal. <laughs> I gave him the name because it means well behaved, hoping it would rub off on him. Ah. Whole lot of good that did. But it's no biggie. All that hyperactive energy makes for a more exciting wushu dance. Also. I feel like watching Manzai has helped me get a better handle on how Swanee look in action. As soon as I put my Wusho head on, I'm right in the zone. <sighs> <laughs> Interesting things. With a lot of herbs, flowers, and even the twigs and bark of certain trees, if you dry them out, then boil them in water, it makes a really refreshing drink with a ton of health benefits. Cools you down, calms the mind, and so on. <laughs> Granny and Auntie tell me that drinking one of these herbal teas before and after eating fried foods helps clear your system and reduce heatiness. Wow. Uh, let's see. What do you have to tell you to tell me about yourself? I'm the best wusho dancer in the Secure Transport Agency, and the busiest guard of the wusho dancing community. <laughs> How about that? Uh, that do anything for you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> do you have any hobbies though? When you go for the tea but stay for the dim sum, we call that yum cha. Yum cha. What you want to do is get some sweet dim sum and some savory dim sum. Uh, Got to make it a balanced meal. And order a mix of ready-made dim sum and made-to-order dim sum so that you can snack on dim sum while you're waiting on your other dim sum. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, I never need lunch on a dim sum day. Let me know when you're free. I'll take you sometime. And don't be afraid to order a bit of everything. You can always pack up the leftovers and take them home. Okay. Do you have any troubles? How much? All right, fine. I'll bite the bullet on the service charge. But I'm not paying extra for a few wet wipes, okay? Uh, matter of fact, I brought my own, so you can keep them. <laughs> Favorite food? I was a little monster when I was a kid. I'd get into trouble, then refuse to apologize, and my exasperated mom would say, I wish I'd given birth to a chunk of chasu instead of you. Now, every time I eat chasu, it, it makes me think of her. Did you? Did he? Did he uh, lose his mom? Ah, maybe it's about that then. <clears throat> okay. Uh, least favorite food. Everyone says I have weird taste. Call me crazy, but all I want is for my fowl to taste like fowl and my fish to taste like fish. Right. Souvenir gift. Mm. <laughs> Dang, are you secretly a god? Because this tastes like heaven. It, no joke. I'm calling you kitchen god from now on. No, no, no. You already have stove god. I don't, I don't, uh, he doesn't want any competition. <clears throat> you made this yourself? Oh, wow. You're too good to me. Seriously, you are an amazing cook. I got this one, though. Uh, I'm a big believer in owning your mistakes and taking criticism on the chin, so next time I upset you, there's no need to go to all this trouble. You can, uh, ooh, I, just smack me in the face instead. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does, what does, what does it say on, these, on, on birthdays? So, a little birdie told me that it's your birthday today. When were you planning on telling me? <laughs> anyway, I went ahead and made a reservation at Shinya Kiosk. Eight dishes, a soup, and as much rice as you can eat, with longevity buns and tong soy for dessert. Plus, I invited all your friends along. <laughs> uh, and I also put together a little birthday wusho dance for you. It, nothing extravagant, just a bit of fun, really, but yeah, I hope you like it. Ah, <sighs> Gami, you're such, such a chad. <laughs> his, pers his personality is so vibrant. Love it. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Hallie oop! Howdy you? <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Many happy returns! Hop to it, Monzai! Mighty mythical beast! Oh, cool. This stuff looks dope. Where do you want this stuff delivered to, boss? Good things come to those who wait. <laughs> no pain, no gain. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. <laughs> Still breathing. 
Take five. I've got this. Hey, don't push yourself. I gotta run. Where? <laughs> Show's over, folks. Seems like it. Forget about me. Just go. Ow. Hey, what gives? Stop it now. <laughs> Ready to rumble. Got it. I'll start my warm-up routine. Is there time to sneak in some dim sum first? <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> um, I'll, uh, I'll level them up. Are those? <laughs> I need four of those. for his weapon so from what I saw I think and uh, he doesn't need any HP because he actually gains it um, and he recharge could be the best, the best for him. For every character in the party who hails from Leeway, the character who recruits this weapon gains an 8% attack increase and a 4% crit rate increase. This one looks pretty cool for for bombing. So I'm going to switch that and uh, I'll enhance this one here. Now I need to form these materials. So you just. So now I have to focus on that. At level 60. Of course, I'll need to find the artifacts that is our boat. I mean, all suited for Dami. So, um, let me see. <clears throat> Is there time to sneak in some dim sum first? And Dummy is there, so it's here, so no need to worry. After pitching a channel flame pyrotechnical amusement, special moving fireworks lanterns will appear before you. And during the next golden top sleeps, you will score double points. Right. Well, 
blazing lanterns will appear in front of you. So, blazing lanterns, right? And, and you will score double points during your next drilling trap sleep. Alright, let's go. Do it? Did I do it? Watching one day. Okay, so it's only two remaining. Isn't that, isn't that, um, one of the arches? What was, what, what's his, what was his name? Melodius? So we had, uh, Alatus, Pisatius, Melodius. So is that, is that, Melodius? Okay, well, this is part two, this is part two, act two of uh, the Lantern Festival. All right, festival is going to be amazing, I'm quite sure of it. If we come across the, his, the story about this guy, yeah, uh, but um, <laughs> that was amazing. So, ladies and ladies, this has been yet another video of, uh, well, getting at the archives. And what video it was uh, from uh, the encounter with Jian Nun to us getting drumming, as you can see. Uh, the, <laughs> the cheer and guard that is so charming and endearing that is. Uh, it is one fetches. Boom booms and eyes. <laughs> boom booms and mouth. And uh yeah, wushu dancing. We've done quite a lot of mini games and that's been quite fascinating so far. And as you can see, the story is not even done yet. We're only scratching the surface. Um <laughs> apparently one of uh Night. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, apparently one of the of, of uh, Zhao's buddies is going to be featured in this uh, year's Lantern Rite, so I'm quite excited about that. But yeah, um, I'm quite excited to see what is going to happen <laughs> next part of this Lantern Rite festival, and I'm sure it's going to be amazing. But if you guys liked it on the side of YouTube, please, please make sure to leave a like on the video, share with all your friends, families, and whatnot. Also, uh, please hit that subscribe button 
the subscribe button so that you may not miss another video. Also activate the notification bell while you're at it. And uh, yeah, that's been all for me dudes and uh, I'll see you all, I guess, in the next video. Take care.